Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about GitHub. Why? Well, two reasons. First off, the obvious one, GitHub is by far and away the largest online source code repository. It is an implementation of Git, it is where people um, back up and share their source code online, and as I mentioned, it is the biggest. And by being the biggest, you also tend to also be the most important. Secondly, well, Microsoft bought them. And this goes back to August of last year, uh, Microsoft acquired GitHub for seven and a half billion dollars. Now, when Microsoft acquires a company, one of probably three things happens. Number one, it goes away. That one kind of sucks. Uh, I miss you, Havoc, wherever you are. Uh, number two is it gets rolled into another product. Um, and, you know, so it could have become project open source server uh, and then probably dies a hideous death. Or number three, it becomes a lot more affordable. Those tend to be the three things that happen across the board. And we took a big step towards number three today in that GitHub is now changing their pricing. Now, this announcement was back in June of 2018, but it didn't actually close until uh, November, December, I think, because of regulatory concerns, antitrust, all that kind of stuff. It had to make it through the courts. So Microsoft has only been in charge of GitHub for a couple of months now. And this is their New Year message to all of us. Now, if you've read the spoiler graphic on the way in, you know exactly what it's going to be. Unlimited free private repos. So the number of repositories was previously kind of what made you buy the commercial version. If, if you... Um, if you worked completely publicly, the free version was just fine for you. But if you wanted to keep your code private or just among a couple of people, you had to subscribe. Well, that has changed today. They've also made some changes to their enterprise offering. But the free version is now by far and away the, the big news today. And what they've done is GitHub Free now includes unlimited private repositories. For the first time, developers can use GitHub for their private projects with up to three collaborators, uh, collaborators per repository for free. Now, keep that in mind. You are still three people people or smaller. If you need more than three people, you need to jump up to a different tier. We'll see all of that in a second. But this previously would have cost you $9 or $7, $7 US a month if you wanted this functionality. Now it is fully and completely free. The public repositories are still free, of course, no changes there. And you can have unlimited collaborators on a public repository. So now really the difference is you have unlimited free private and those private are limited to up to three collaborators. So if you've got a four person team, well, this isn't great great news for you. But if you've got less, it is great news for you. They've also made some changes on enterprise, new unified product for enterprise cloud, formerly GitHub uh, Business Cloud and Enterprise Server, GitHub Enterprise. Um, they kind of just merged them together and made the offering more consistent. So now let's take a look at the pricing behind this. So we can see now, if you come into the, pre uh, the free tier, you'll see no cost, uh, unlimited public, unlimited private, which is the new change, three collaborators for private, uh, issue and bug tracking and project management. If you jump up to the $7, the real big difference you're seeing is this goes away. So you now have unlimited uh, collaborators, um, and then you've also got advanced code review tools. So those are for the, the two kind of individual tiers. So most indie developers will be in one of those two areas. Uh, but if you have um, a very large tier or you need bug management or project tracking or um, user management or billing or all those advanced tools, then you're jumping up into the team stuff here. And then there's where you're looking at $9 or $21 a month. And one of the cool things is on the team one though, say you were running something like uh, the Godot project or Krita or some other major open source project. Well, obviously you're not going to want to be in this three collaborators limit. Uh, you're not going to be want to be in this tier because you're going to want those things like uh, the access control and so on. Well, if you're an open source team, the nine dollar team option is available for completely free for open source projects. So I, I don't know that that is new. I think that might have been there all along, but it's, it's definitely worth pointing out. Now, one thing that's interesting in all of this, and, and I can't find a reference to this, but uh, I believe there is a one gigabyte limit on repository size. So if you're looking at games with huge assets, you're still gonna look at some kind of LFS problem for your larger assets, um, or you're gonna just store links and put those assets in some place like a Dropbox account or, or something like that. But do be aware, and, I, and again, I can't, it's not listed here in the pricing tier by any means, but I have consistently heard that there is a uh, one gigabyte size limit on all repositories. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. I'm trying to find a direct reference to it, and I have not 
not yet, but I have consistently heard that. So do be aware that that is a limitation, but that is also a limitation that should be quite easily worked around. So really in a nutshell, the big thing, the, the huge piece of news here is really just this guy right here. And then these guys have been restructured and, and streamlined and cleaned up a bit. But, um, this unlimited private repost just made it so a lot of people that are currently paying $7 a month so that they can have their code private now no longer have to. And that's that's kind of a cool, cool move. So as far as being the first major action since Microsoft bought GitHub, uh, this one's a pretty sweet one. I, I don't see any negatives here. I'm sure there are going to be some people out there that, uh, I don't know, they're going to hate on this for some reason or another. But uh, so far under Microsoft stewardship, uh, GitHub has definitely um, improved for the 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 average, you know, entry level freeish user because of this one. Now, uh, do keep in mind one of the big reasons why they're doing this or why they can do this is that seven dollars a month. Probably, I would be willing to bet, was what was keeping GitHub alive. I bet you that's where the majority of their customer base actually was. And Microsoft doesn't really need to make money off of GitHub for GitHub to still be valuable for them. Now, keep in mind they've got things like uh, what the hell is it called? Their next version of IntelliSense. I think it's IntelliCode, is actually powered by GitHub source code. So having this giant repository of source code is definitely useful to them as a company anyways. And then of course, there's going to be ways to leverage it in the future. So they don't need to immediately make a buck like GitHub did to have to keep the lights on. They, you know, they have enough stored light bulbs for many, many years that they can kind of do this kind of thing and make the entry level completely free. Now I'm interested to see how many people are actually at that enterprise tier, how much, if that's a profit center for them. Uh, but I personally don't care. I, I am not in this world. I would be either in this one or this one for free. So either way, I, I score on this one. I, I, I love the fact that private repositories are, are out there. Now, another thing I should point out is that there are alternatives out there that also offer uh, private repositories. So this is nothing especially new. This was one of the big things about GitLab, for example. But as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, GitHub is kind of the, the default in people's minds. It is the biggest and that gets at a certain amount of traction. It is the brand name of sorts. And so this is definitely an attractive thing for, you know, when you're picking where your repository is going to be, let's say you have about half your code you want to make public and half code you want to make private or you're doing staging where you only want a small number of people to see it, uh, this is a big tick or checkbox in GitHub's favor. So um, yeah, definitely a uh, interesting development, uh, development for GitHub users. I'm wondering, are you currently a pro user? And if so, are you gonna be dropping down to the free tier? And there's one of those things they've really kind of, uh, that's a, yeah, that's it. That, that's like the major thing here is this unlimited collaborators, collaborators collaborators. God, that's a hard word to say for me today. The unlimited collaborators aspect is really the only upsell for that seven bucks. I don't know what this advanced code review tools actually turn out to be, uh, but I, I got a feeling a lot of people or the majority of people that were previously buying this tier for unlimited private uh, aren't anymore. So it, I imagine this tier will like drain rapidly overnight, but uh, cool move, cool development. And I figured I would share that all with you. In fact, I actually had another video to queue up, but this one bumped it in terms of newsworthiness. So uh, there'll be an afternoon video as well. So stay tuned for that. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.